So, back in September I went to this two-day science popularisation conference in Bilbao called Nalgas, and it was so great that I had to take you with me. Nalgas was fantastic, I was incredibly impressed, and I think its success was down to three reasons. It was free, there was a great atmosphere, and there were great people. It's hard to find a free conference of this calibre, but it meant that anyone who was able to travel to the city was able to attend at no extra cost, perfect for attracting all of the science enthusiasts, of which I was pleasantly surprised to find out there were many. The main room had a capacity of around 500 people, and queues formed well before the session started. In fact, the main room was always over capacity. In addition to the main room, there were also up to three other rooms where the sessions were being live streamed and there were other parallel activities and workshops as well. The conference as well could be watched online, so I would hazard a guess that around 2,000 people were probably following Nalgas Live. So although I was waiting in queues up to an hour in advance, which might sound a bit boring, that couldn't have been further from the truth. The atmosphere and the people were fantastic. I was consistently surrounded by people fascinated and passionate by all aspects of science, discussing the panels which had just happened and the ones that were about to come in the next session. I was very lucky to meet and hang out with Marti from Perciencia and Grispo from Quantum Fracture, and if you haven't heard of them, they are two of the largest science YouTubers based in Spain, with fantastic content and wonderful personalities to match. I always love meeting other fellow creators, and I was really interested to learn that many of them also had the same male to female divide as me, sort of 80-90% to male, 10-20% to female. And honestly, this is something I've noticed amongst many educational creators, and it's always made me wonder why. Anyway, moving on, the slogan for Naukas is Ciencia, Humor y Escepticismo, or Science, Humor and Skepticism, and there were many quick, snappy, 10-minute talks, and all of the speakers covered those bases exceptionally well, from solid science to dressing up, to jokes, to encouraging critical thinking. Their talks range from topics such as how infections spread, <laughs> how aeroplanes fly, and using critical thinking to show how Bernoulli's law doesn't cover the whole truth, how we see, how to do astrophotography, physics, nutrition and dieting, plants, language, and so on and so forth. Not only that, but there were talks which bridged the gap perfectly between art and science, combining the two, as well as providing endless examples of just how many ways science can be communicated. It's not only presentations, podcasts, blogs, books and videos, but musicals, dance, theatre, photography, workshops. The list went on and on, and honestly, I came back feeling incredibly inspired of perhaps new things that I'd like to try sometime. Perhaps one of the major highlights of Naukas was an interview with astronaut Pedro Duque, who, if you haven't heard of him, he is basically our Spanish equivalent of Chris Hadfield or Tim Peake. And I leave you here with the question which made me think the most. No necesitamos un poco más de competencia y menos colaboración por los resultados obtenidos. Creo que la competencia es de la competición. Ah, pues es Y de hecho, <risa> existe siempre la competencia, aunque esté colaborando, de quien hace la parte del proyecto que tenga una repercusión de saber tecnología más importante. Existe la competencia dentro de la colaboración. I'd be curious to know what you think. Do you think collaboration or competition is most important when pursuing and furthering science? Overall, Naugas was an incredible time. It was great to catch up with old friends as well as make plenty of new friendships. I have been inspired in many ways to keep making science content here on Draw Curiosity and finding new ways to communicate science. And above all, I can't wait to be back next year. So, Esker Gasco to the organisers, muchísimas gracias por tenerme. And to you, thank you so much for watching me, and I'll see you in the next one with a science video.